Hey guys, Indy here with Ultimate Two Reviews and just picked up from the Home Depot sales right now going on for a lot of the holiday sales. They're having a lot of buy one, get one free tools right now that are happening. And so I picked up a X-Lot grinder and the Makita uh, ratchet as well um, from some of those deals. So I wanted to just do a quick review on this ratchet and uh, overall pretty impressed with it so far. It's got a lot of different cool things going on with it. Uh, some really unique stuff as well too. So to start off here, let's check the model number on this. And this is the XRW01. And you know, if you compare this thing to some of the other brands, Project Farm did an excellent review um, comparing some of the ratchets. Um, I have owned the Milwaukee M12, not the fuel, just the regular ratchet in the past. And I wasn't super impressed with that. I did a project in the back of my uh, Tacoma where I was taking out the seats and that thing actually started smoking pretty bad, actually. Uh, I wasn't pushing it too hard. Um, I was just, you know, popping bolts off and then just letting them out. Now, it's really some kind of tricky spots here and there. And that's why I needed a cordless ratchet to do it. And, um, you yeah, know, that thing kind of just let the dust out really quick. And, you know, I don't know if I just got a bad unit or something, but I just had to pick up the Makita for these odds and ends jobs that I do occasionally get. And so let's start off with the business end here on the ratchet side. So Makita actually advertises this as a quarter inch and three eighths inch ratchet, which is actually pretty cool. Now, the one interesting thing about this ratchet that I'm not a huge fan about is kind of how the business end is, you know, how you change out these three eighths inch and quarter inch um, heads here, as well as how you change uh, the direction. I do like the Milwaukee a little bit better when it comes to that. And before I change out the head on this, let me actually show you what the manual shows. So you're not telling me, hey, that's not how you do it. Um, right here is what it says to do. To remove the socket adapter, insert a stick like screwdriver into the back side of the socket adapter and then tap it gently. So I'm gonna do that right now and uh, let's see how it goes. So all you gotta do is this side is open and you take a little screwdriver and you just kinda pop it in. So there it is, comes right off and you can pop the new one in right there. So I don't really use quarter inch too much, but it's cool to actually have that. So I don't actually need two ratchets. Um, I can just have one and it, ad it adapts to both three eighths and quarter inch. So really cool to have, but also don't make, make sure you don't lose these. They are pretty tiny little pieces. Uh, definitely keep a uh, close eye on those so you don't lose those too easily. So let's check out the weight of this thing. Um, you know, of course, it is pretty long, like all other ratchets from pretty much every brand, um, with probably the most awkward one being the Ryobi. If you ever tried the Ryobi, um, because it has to have that stick pack, it hangs off the back pretty far. So let's check the weight of this. All right, so with no battery, we're at about one pound, 15.5 ounces. Now I don't have one of the smaller Makita batteries, um, but I'm gonna use a five amp hour Makita battery because that's the battery that came with the set that I bought this tool with. So that's gonna be the most accurate battery I can get for this. So with a five amp hour battery, looking at three pounds, 5.9 ounces. Not too bad, it does get a little bit back heavy when you add that battery in. Um, but of course, you know, if you're just working basically with your hand up here, it's not too bad. But yeah, I would definitely say if you're working a lot with automotive, get the smaller two amp hour battery. Makes it pretty well in line about here with the button. So that's actually gonna be pretty nice to have. But I don't use it too much. I don't really need the smaller batteries. Uh, I always mind having the fours and the fives are pretty much all I need. Also, the other features here on the tool itself are going to be this um, lock switch here. So unlocked, that is locked. Kind of hard to read here, actually, from what, from just checking this thing out. I wish that was maybe like um, a white logo in there. It's kind of just a, a, a smooth surface on that textured surface. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit more. Smooth surface on that textured surface and uh, pretty small. Not sure if that's something that's actually gonna be super useful. This isn't the tool like a jigsaw or something like that where it can be dangerous uh, if it goes off an accident, but you know, it's kinda nice to have it here and there. Um, just if you're not aware of this tool, what happens to be locked and you go to use it, it might seem like there's something wrong. You don't know what's going on there. So just something to be aware of there. And uh, let's plug this battery back in 
Now let's see how this thing does. Now, one thing I don't really like, I like the Milwaukee version definitely better, is the reverse switch here. So you can see how this works, just like pretty much every cordless ratchet. I've got a number of adjustable settings. That's gonna be my slowest setting right there. Let me throw a socket on here just so you can see that with a socket. Not too bad there. It is a variable speed trigger, so let's check this out for some of the variable speeds here. So it does have quite the variable speed um, for how slow it can get, as well as how fast it can get. It's always gonna be super useful if you're taking off bolts in an awkward situation, um, somewhere under a car, somewhere here and there. Uh, really nice to have a number of variable speeds. I do wish they had something of a uh, like a variable speed dial or something on here. It'd be really nice. Uh, if you bump your hand on that, it goes fast. You might the bolt might fly off. Uh, always nice to have something extra to give you a uh, more adjustable speed on here. Number of guys, these are not for breaking loose bolts. Uh, that is what a uh, right angle impact is for, or an impact wrench for that matter. Um, these are for basically just removing or putting the fasteners back on, and then you tighten it up either by hand or tighten it with an impact wrench. Uh, you will break the heads in these pretty easily with pretty much any brand you buy, and uh, they are definitely not for tightening up fasteners. Now, let's put this next to, say, a regular just wrench here. And of course, this is what you're gonna have for a difference in size here. So let's give this a... Uh, a measure here. I just want to see how long this is. So end to end here, right there, just at just a little bit under 14 inches. I'd say like 4 or 13.9 uh, total length here. And one thing I didn't like about the Milwaukee that I had was that stick battery, of course, went up into the handle. Um, and basically, the Milwaukee was about this long. If I eliminated the battery down here, that's about the length of the Milwaukee. Um, I do like the Makita handle a little bit better, and if you look at it here, you can see where you've got the kind of finger indentations here, so when you put your hand on it, it actually have a nice, comfortable grip, whereas if it's more of circular like that, I don't really like that grip too much. kind of makes my hand seem really big here, and I can't get my hand to do a lot smaller, um, tighter, tighter positions there. So kind of one thing I didn't really like about the Milwaukee was just that um, kind of strange grip they had going on there with the battery. That's probably my biggest complaint with the M12 line is I'm not a fan of those stick pack batteries. Um, you know, we haven't really used those in any other brand for like over a decade now. And I'm kind of curious if they're gonna actually ever take the M12 line, um, the next generation and do slide packs. It'd be really cool to see, but we'll see what happens and see what they do. So here's an also tools, just for side for side. Um, this is the also tools. <clears throat> A swivel head ratchet here just for a side-by-side -side comparison to kind of compare uh, something like a cordless ratchet to just a regular ratchet here so um, let's see how wide this tool is as well uh, i guess i'll do the width of the battery pack of course and just a hair over three inches there uh, where your hand goes is just under two inches uh, the motor is just slightly under two inches as well and uh, regular head here We've got a few things like a nice little light up front. That's always nice to have. Uh, whenever brands like this can throw in a little more features here and there, it's always going to be really nice to have. Um, I've heard really good stuff about these ratchets. The Makita ones seem to hold up really well. Of course, you get a three-year warranty with these, so you're going to be covered for a little bit on these as well, too. And overall, you know, I think it's a great tool um, as well. Um, you know, it works really well. I was going to show you, too, the um, how the reverse switch works on here. So basically what you do is you take this little pin here and you move this to the other side and now it's reversed. I'm gonna throw the battery in just to show you that quick. All right, so if I take this and go this way with it, there we go. I'm really concerned about this thing getting, you know, clogged up with dust or dirt and this thing will stop working. I do like how it does show you, hey, which direction it's turned to. That's really nice. 
um, but I'm not a big fan of, you know, it's got the open back here. Um, it's just this little switch, and that is it. On the Milwaukee, it's just a nice big toggle switch on there, and you just turn it, and you're good to go. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to hold up, especially in a, you know, professional environment, getting dirty every single day. That's my one concern with this tool, is definitely the design I don't like is going to be this little switch up here. Um, this will get dirty really fast, get clogged with debris really quick here, so... That's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me in the comments, guys, if you've ever used this um, Akita Ratchet. Let me know how it's holding up. If you guys are using it professionally, really curious to see how well this thing will hold up um, using it uh, as I go forward here with some new jobs coming up um, into, into next year as well. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And take care, guys. Have a great weekend.